Ninjas, Gaijo here again. What's going on? We have another review. Not Beast Hunters, but Transformers Prime Thundertron. Voyager Class, of course, because he's obviously a lot bigger. Uh, let's start with the uh, weapon. Probably one of the better ones. It's hard to activate without him holding on to it, but it basically turns into a sword, which is pretty sweet. And otherwise it's a claw with a giant sword coming out of it. So it's, you know, it's gimmicky, obviously. And here is a Thunder Tron. Now, he doesn't really have too much articulation at all, except for, like, the feet and back of the legs, but that's it. No Martha, no mouth articulation or anything like that. Little flappy jobbies articulate a little bit, but that's about it. Tail kind of moves, and that's about it. Now, I'm going to say right now that I enjoy this mold. It's actually pretty cool. But, um, I think, uh, I don't know who it said it, but I think, uh, Mega TF Man said that a lot of, he's going to be disappointed if a lot of these Transformers are just stand-up Transformers, and that's pretty much what this guy is. He just kind of stands up and a little bit of head flippy motion, but let's, uh, let's kind of start transforming him here now. He's got a very interesting, uh, uh, way to go about this because he's got these paw things that come out and uh, such so we'll start transforming him and he's got a lot of ratchets they're like tight ratchets but they're there so we're gonna do that get the other side over like that I think that'll go down like so Tuck into his chest or over his chest? I don't remember. Oop, his head popped off. I'm trying to figure out, because see, I forgot how to transform him, because it's been a while since I played with him. But I think you're supposed to get his head in there, but I forgot how you do it. You're supposed to get his head down, I mean. you do it, because I know it just swings all the way down. I think that's pretty much it, it just swings all the way down, like that. And then, uh, his head pops up like so. And then I think you move these things down, yep, okay, I'm getting it. Move these things down, these th things spread out. His head will fashion on there. Try to get it on there. Like that. You can fold his head piece down. Like that. So we're kind of there. Um, Actually, I think, yeah, okay, that's supposed to go like this. And you flip out his hand. Okay, there we go. Flip out his hand. Sorry if I'm not saying anything. I'm just trying to make sure I transform this correctly. I'm trying to get that there. It's like it kind of folds in properly there. And then you just kind of spin his legs around like that. Now, the one cool feature um, about this guy is uh, he's got a peg leg. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let's shove that back in his foot. that and these things can kind of just go behind him his tail can kind of just dangle as is and then these up here kind of fit into the back of his arms there's like pegs that go into the back of his shoulders up in here and then you're just supposed to flip that around like this 
then it's supposed to just kind of just go like that, I think, yes. So it's just kind of like drape over his shoulder like so. So it's supposed to be kind of like that. Or maybe like that. I don't know. However you want, however you see fit. Um, and he's pretty much transformed as is right now. So we'll just stand him up. Get his little feet he parts in the right places. And there we are. Thundertron. Close up. He kind of looks interesting. He looks like, uh, oh, I don't know. The Fallen, maybe. A little bit with it. Fallen and Tigertron had a baby. That's why it's Thundertron. Oh, it's really hard to uh, enjoy this mold 110%. And there's reasons because of it. Because of the, uh, well, the, the transformation kind of pisses me off, for one. That is cool. That I like. I'm not going to argue with that. That's, like, probably the coolest thing about the whole shooting match is that. Um, this part, apparently, you can take off and you can peg in on his arm. And then he can have, like, a claw over here for some reason. And then, apparently, you take this and you peg this over here on his other arm like so and then that'll give him like this claw on this arm like so but instead he'll have the uh, ability to use the uh, thingy. Now you gotta kinda bend his arm to do it but he can still uh, extend out his blade like so so it's actually it's kinda nice but uh, other than that it's pretty gimmicky I mean um, you know for I guess this is their first crack at, uh, you know, how Beast Hunters was going to go. And it looks okay. It looks kind of nice. I'm pretty sure they just did it for nostalgia purposes. But hey, I'm not hating. It's a cool toy. I liked it. Picked it up for a reason. I uh, haven't reviewed it for a while. I had it in my possession, like, way before I had Ultra Magnus. But, um, you know, I just picked him up and I didn't review him because there's so many reviews of him and stuff like that already so I just kinda was like eh whatever I'll get to him I'll get to him don't worry but anyway Thundertron pretty cool if you guys want a recommendation I recommend him if you like kitty cat beast transformers um, I definitely recommend him he's pretty cool he's kinda like grasshopper transformer insect ninja con thing um, whatever you know but it's he's still really cool I enjoy him um, a couple of the gimmicks I don't really care for but you know as a figure on its own with the foot it's still pretty cool. So this is Gajo with another review of Transformers Prime, Thundertron, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more reviews like this and other Transformers and Beyblades reviews. More to come. Close-ups at the end as always. This is Gajo saying bye.